Okay guys, um, let's talk about gel electrophoresis. So because nucleic acids are negatively charged um, ions at true or alkaline pH in an aqueous environment, they can actually be moved by an electric field. So gel electrophoresis is, the, is a technique used to separate charged molecules on the basis of its size and charge. Um, the nucleic acids can be separated as whole chromosomes or by fragments. The nucleic acids um, are loaded into a slot at one end of the gel matrix. So this blue thing is the gel. Uh, for DNA, we use agarose gel. Macam agar yang mak you guys buat dekat rumah tu dia makan tu cuma ni untuk lab setting punya agarus lah ok so you put up so this um, macam perigi ni kita panggil dia sample wells this is where you load you punya DNA samples ok and then you turn on the electric and the electricity will be applied to this gel uh, apparatus kita panggil ni gel apparatus yang the whole setting where you place your gel ni ni nama kita panggil dia gel apparatus right and then you turn it on and then the DNA since it's negatively charged it will move from the negative side to the positive side so but the attract negative will be attracted to the positively charged electrode right so dia akan bergerak so itu konsep gel electrophoresis so why do we do this um, <coughs> um right I'm gonna go back ahead to this slide mm. let's see um Okay, now this one. Okay, like I said, so this is gel, and then you apply electricity. DNA will move. So when DNA moves, they can move by size. A smaller fragment will end up further than a longer bands of DNA. So remember, dalam sample you, ni contohnya, sample you, dalam ni ada many fragments. Um, of DNA of different size so they have different size right and then when you put them into this well they can move down to the positive electrode and they can move uh, by size lah yang besar akan lambat bergerak the one yang smaller size akan lagi laju bergerak right now the thing about gel electrophoresis is that you have to be careful that you punya DNA fragments ni tak keluar daripada gel matrix ni ok tak keluar because if you uh, let it be like that bila you nak view on the UV light dia takkan nampak bands macam ni so kita panggil dia when you run the DNA fragments through the gel matrix and you visualize it under the um, UV light we call this uh, rectangular blocks ni yang nampak ni these are called DNA bands ok sebab nampak macam bands macam tu so you know um, see ini di uh, tempat you letak sample you kan so you know this one have a smaller size this DNA here is smaller oops smaller than the one yang atas ni so you can see juga yang ni bila dia sama baris kita boleh safely assume they have the same size same molecular weight if you are wondering size tu apa kan based on dia punya molecular weight lah ok so it's a uh, it's basically a fairly simple uh, technique alright let's go here see small pieces of DNA they have less frictional drag uh, less resistance so they can move rapidly through the pores of the agarose gel while larger DNAs are fragments they will have 
more frictional drag so their mobility is lower so they move uh, lagi lambat daripada the smaller DNA pieces so as I said largest will be near to the top so if this is your gel this is you punya sample well where you load you punya sample start kan oops wells like that and then um, largest will be nearby here oh larger ones will be here oops excuse my drawing and then the smaller thin fragment will be near to the end of the positive electrode ok mine kena tahu wells dekat mana positive electrode dekat mana because DNA is negatively charged dia akan move to the positive electrode ok and then how do we actually see it the DNA bands under the UV light kita letak fluorescent dye that can actually intercalate between the best pair you tahu DNA sequence is A, A, G, G, C, C, A, T contoh eh so intercalates mean dia masuk selitkan diri dia between these nucleotides so you bukan nampak the nucleotides not necessarily just that you nampak the dye under the UV light now look at this picture on the right here so this is what we call as DNA standards ladder okay DNA ladders so DNA ladders is something that you also add dekat sini so you want to know um, this band complement dengan size yang macam mana contoh dekat bawah sekali maybe dia adalah 50 molecular weight contoh eh, eh sorry uh, best pair okay Uh, so kalau dia dekat atas ni Maybe dia adalah seribu So ni adalah standard kita Kita view supaya kita tahu So ni adalah Kita beli Dia ni ladders ni kita belilah Usually so kita boleh tahu Dia correlate dengan size yang macam Mana Right Oops Again Right Let's remove the Okay, so this is Alright, let's look at this gel So, bila you print out gel Punya gambar, usually dia memang black and white Macam ni lah, you tengok dia memang lawa Macam dekat sini, right Under the UV light, memang very beautiful lah But uh, When you print it out In a piece of paper, the photograph paper tu It will look like black and white like this So, you can know Again, this Tengok eh, starting position dekat bawah eh you, Nampak elektrod dekat atas So, this type pada bawah So, this one dekat hujung ni will have shorter uh, uh, short, uh, Smaller size of DNA Dekat atas Here And then this one, the longer DNA fragment Larger DNA fragment lah Okay Right um, And then I want to see that this is probably the ladder. I think this is also the ladder juga. Dia letak dua side dekat ujung-ujung. So, but then again, tapi betul lah dia cakap smaller ones memang dekat hujung near the positive electrode and the um, longer larger DNA fragment will be near to the starting position where the sample wells are. Okay. And this is actually your real sample And you know, nampak ni Ni ada satu band yang sangat nipis And then, ni adalah probably the same size ni Reference size dia This one is probably Sama lah Right? Uh, ni probably in between This Maybe, right? This one same Like that Okay, that's all about gel electrophoresis